up everyone, Jason at Canyon Adventure Vans, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble our new sofa bed system and how to install it in a 21 plus Winnebago Rebel 4x4. So first thing you do is you're going to get your uh, sofa delivered to you in this box, and if you've ever ordered any of our products in the past, you'll know it probably takes more time unboxing them than it actually does installing them. That's because we like to make sure there are plenty of wrappage and they're protected properly and to do that it takes a long time so be careful when you're cutting this you don't go in too far because you'll end up hitting the sofa cushion and you don't want to do that so the only assembly that you have to do on this is bolting the three legs and you'll see how easy that is. All right, we've got the last leg. Get this wrap off. So just to recap, three legs that we're gonna bolt on, all right? You'll have two cushions in here as well. One is your back cushion and the cushion that turns into the bed. You will also have your little kit, which has two hex wrench um, and a couple caps in there in case the caps come off the ends of the aluminum. So the next step is I want to come in here and take off all this edging. Last thing in here should be the cushion. This is the main cushion. Go ahead and take this out. Alright, so now that we got everything laid out, it's unpackaged, you got your three legs, so your first leg, which the smooth face is going to be facing out, and you want the cap facing up, you're going to take this leg and these little grooves in the leg, you have three T-nuts here, and we want to slide that into those grooves. So you just got to be patient, you got to line them all up straight up and down vertically, the T-nuts, so they'll slide into these grooves. Be patient, wiggle it, and there it goes, just like that, okay? So now I'm going to come in here, tighten these, and then you'll have one L bracket that's still loose, so I want to tighten the one that goes onto the actual leg first, then I'll come in here and tighten this one down. And when I finish this, I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the other three. Alright, so that's done. So now let's go to the next one, which will be this one. And you want the longer, the longer part of the two is your leg, and then this is just a return. And the idea with this piece is if you get the uh, foot rest, you'll be able to put that in front of your seat, and it'll keep it from sliding out into the hallway. Okay? So same thing. You want to line all these up straight up and down. Okay? And I'm going to take this carefully. Try to slide those T nuts. Into this solo. So you just have to be patient and kind of turn them a little bit, wiggle them. You can see right here, this one got sideways on me, so obviously there's no way that's going to slide in there. So I need to readjust that, bring this one back. Try that all over again. This is the hardest part about the whole deal is just trying to get these things to line up. But once you do, should slide right in. Loosen this one up just a little bit. Just like that. All right, so now that that's in, we'll slide that, tighten that one, tighten this one. Okay, and I'll come back again and I'm going to tighten the one that's against the leg first. And then I'll go and tighten the 
I'll bracket down. And then we'll move on to the last leg. Okay, so that's it. Now carefully turn this. And then we'll do the same thing for the very last leg. Get these lined up, straight up and down. That is the hardest part of this whole thing is lining this up. Unfortunately, there is no box big enough that we can ship this in already put together. So sometimes it's super easy. It just slides right in. You just have to be patient about it. Lock these in. And then once I'm done here, tightening up these three bolts, then we can take this system and put it inside the van. For the video purpose, we're going to move along, but just make sure you go back and really make sure that everything's nice and tight and it's all, it's all snugged up because you will be sleeping on this and sitting on it. All right, now that that's done, we're going to lift this up and we're going to slide it into place, but let's be smart about it. So, get this out of the way. This is how it's going to go inside the van. These two small legs fit right in the back of your bench seat up against the wall. Okay? This end is going to go right up underneath the uh, driver's side window. And then this end is going to be facing out um, towards your slider here. So the trick is getting this in to the van um, with the legs on. And the first thing I want to do is just get it in like this. Once I can get it into the van, then I can flip it over and put it where it goes. Okay, now that you got your sofa bed system into your van, just like this, the next step is, the easiest step is just to grab it, lift it up, just like that, get it up on your step, okay? And then the next thing I'm going to do is just lift it straight up, and these two small legs are going to go right back here against this seat wall. right in. So basically we designed this so when it sits back here on those legs it's between here and the wall so it kind of locks right into place and as you can see it's super sturdy. Okay then the next thing we're going to do now that that's in place all the legs look great I'm going to grab the pads. There's only one way this goes on and that's the zipper towards the driver's side wall underneath the window slides right into place. You got a flap right here and this little cutout goes around here. Okay and then now we grab the seat back and this is meant to sit right up against there or you can have it right here as well. You can also flip it this way. Okay so what I usually do in my van is normally right here. Now when I'm ready to go to bed all I do is take this, this slide all the way out, then I'll take this piece and I put this right into place and that's it. There's your bed. So now you have another bed for the Winnebago Rebel. And then when it's time to wake up in the morning, you flip this up, slide this in, Grab this and lock it in and you're done. And that's a new sofa bed system for the Winnebago Rebel 4x4.